everyone, this is Kathy. Uh, today I'm going to share with you some free digital resources that will help you uh, learn some more skills or maybe even brush up on your computer use or technology skills. A lot of these are resources that are fun and um, of course they don't cost anything compared to taking an online course. So the first one that I want to share with you is called Learn My Way. And this is a great place for someone who is a beginner to start, maybe someone that hasn't really used the computer much or, or is maybe timid in getting into these kind of things. But Learn My Way has uh, a bunch of free different courses to help you learn digital skills. And I'm going to go right into that website and show you. So when I am on here you have the ability to register your courses so you can keep up with your content that you've used. Uh, you can also have, there's also a tab called help someone else if there's someone else that you're helping learn um, that also does that. But the first thing I want to show you is to see all the learning and what it will do it will bring this up and these are the different courses that they have. They're like, they're very basic, starting with using a keyboard, a mouse, a touch screen, and a computer. And then, um, as you can see over here to the right, it says no need to register. So they have that where you do not have to register to learn these things. You can just use it. Another one is online basics right here. There are office programs right here uh, using spreadsheets and documents and this is um, office programs and then they have internet skills and like video calling, shopping, socializing, Facebook, digital camera, etc. and then some courses on online safety, finding a job online, improving your health, and managing your money and just other public services. So this is such a nice site for uh, very basic things to start out to learn. So if you click here, choose where to start, um, it will start you using your computer or device. I'm just gonna click it first just so you can see what it looks like. So it tells you it has 16 resources. There are videos to watch. There are four different courses, which these are the courses, and I'm just gonna click the first one so you can see. And it breaks it down by topics too. It's very nice. Um, and then it also gives you additional resources to use to try those skills and um, to brush up on those skills. So if I click start this course, I wanna at least show you what it looks like. So it loads. Um, it's very user friendly. You can put your audio on and instead of reading it, it will talk to you. And when you get finished with that, you go to the next page and then it'll give you the information. So it's very user friendly, easy to use. Uh, you also have the help someone else and it gives you a PDF version of whatever you're doing. And so it's like a handout that you could print or hang up or use that way. So it's a very user friendly website and I highly recommend it for someone who is just starting out and you really need to improve or work on some some different skills. It's a great website. The next one I want to show you is called GCF Learn Free. I use this one all the time. I used to use this when I taught uh, in high school technology. Uh, it is a great resource for you to use. So let me go ahead and go there and bring that up to show you what it looks like. So this is GCF Learn Free. And you can see here it's got an option to click here and you can type in whatever you're looking for. You can narrow it down by topics. It will ask you what are you looking for. Um, and then you can narrow it down even more to determine what that is. Different core skills, graphic design and creativity, uh, computer skills. So let's just start with computer skills just so I can show you where to start. So. It is nicely set up by tutorial also. So if I were to click the first one on computer basics, there we go, computer basics. So they have a nice thing also, they have a YouTube playlist that you can click on and go to to be able to watch the videos that are outside of this. But if you wanna start at the very beginning, it, it has it numbered and it's very user-friendly also. And when you go through it, it'll, 
click, you click the continue button and it will just continue through. A lot of them has reading and it also has videos built into it to help you learn it and understand. So uh, this is a great, great website also. There are hundreds of different types of tutorials for you. If you want to learn about the inside of a computer, you can. If you want to learn a certain software, you can. So I suggest that you check that out. And um, the nice thing is when you're going through it, if you go back through here, you can see how this is grayed out. It shows me that I already covered these topics and went through it. And then the ones that aren't covered yet are still bold. So that's really nice because it, it gets long uh, a long list and you're like, I don't know where I am. Another great feature is it has a quiz at the end and it will quiz you. So if it's asking you the question, um, you, can, you can answer it and then hit submit and it will tell you whether you got it right or if you got it wrong. So that's nice too to be able to quiz yourself to see how you're doing and see what you've learned. So if you get a, get a moment, check that out. There are, ton, like I said, there are tons of topics here that you could choose from, all different things. It's a great site for resources. The next one I'm going to show you is called Tech Boomers, and I use this site a lot too. Um, there are tons of free online courses here, and they have videos and instructions and lots of great information for you. So let's go ahead and go to the Tech Boomers and check it out. So Tech Boomers, this is what it looks like. And you can see across the top, it says Access Free Courses. It also has it by different, it's kind of broken down. So if you, if you go by popular courses, it shows up here, the popular courses. If you go to Shopping Online, if you click that, it will give you different shopping, types of shopping things. If you do online entertainment, social websites and apps, useful website and apps, um, it breaks it down either even further that way. So there's lots and lots of information for you to delve into. One nice thing is in the middle, it also gives you these different tutorials that look like this. Um, it gives you suggestions for things like six, six websites to take university level courses for free. Uh, it takes, it tells you all kind of different things that you can l uh, learn on here. Online learning tips and tricks. Um, just about anything you can think of. You can do useful websites and apps. Um, and uh, basically if you just hover over it and all you have to do is click it and it'll give you information about it. So if you're actually taking a course, it will when you click on it, it will look like this. It'll break it down for you. And then when you click on it, it gives you the information this way. So you basically can read it and it gives you pictures and information. So it is a very valuable resource for information. You can go up here and click take the tour and it will give you a video tour to tell you about the Tech Boomers website. So if you're looking for some new and interesting things or you're just curious to, to learn more information, this is a great website for you. You can even type in here different things that you're looking for as far as what you want to look up to learn. So check out Tech Boomers. Uh, it'll give you lots of great information. Another place for digital skills is called North Star Digital Literacy. And basically what it is, it has a place for you to test your digital literacy skills to see how much you know, uh, see how much you learn, and um, go from there. So let me show you what it looks like. North Star looks like this. And when you come here, you can click Take an Assessment. And then you can, it'll take you down here and it'll ask you, you know, different things, like different categories. So do you want to take one on social media information, literacy, career searching, digital footprint, and then Word, Excel, PowerPoint, basic computer skills. So let me click on just so I can show you what it, what it looks like. It'll do an audio setup test. And then it will give you orientation about what it is about. 
and then you can go through and actually take the test. So there are 38 questions. You click Start Now. Click and on, the desktop, click on the, desktop the desktop computer. And it will read it for you out loud. You can turn it off. There's also closed caption. You can make it full screen. If you want to play it again, you click that. Click on the desktop, click on the desktop computer. computer. So it's basically, so a lot of it is clicking. So you're going to click on it and Click on the click laptop, on the laptop computer. computer. It's going to ask you questions, and you just click and work. Click your, on the touch click screen, on the touch in, screen the in the picture. Work your way through it. So click basically, on click on the home in button the in the picture. What it does is it checks your knowledge to see what you know and learn. So it's kind of fun because it's interactive, and you can actually see how well you know things, and then it will help you determine where you could go to learn something new if you need more help with something. So it's... It's kind of fun, I think, uh, but it has a lot of good information for it. So the next thing I want to show you is um, lynda.com. Now, lynda.com, I did a specific presentation on this through um, one of my videos in the past. You can find it on YouTube if you want specific details about it. But lynda.com is a service that the library does provide for you. And a lot of times you have to pay for it. But if you are logged in with your library card through the Salem Public Library, it is free. So let me show you where to find that. So if you go to the library and um, you go right over here to the research tab, you'll find lynda.com. And when you click lynda.com, it will prompt you to put in your library card number, and then you're going to click log in, and then you will be in Lynda. And Lynda, I would say, probably is a little bit more advanced um, to learn different things. You you have to have basic computer skills and know that kind of tech technology, I think, to get to this point. But there are some digital literacy things you can do here. Um, so if you just typed in something that you wanted to learn, let me do Microsoft Word. So if you had Microsoft Word, it will give you videos and information on how to learn it and um, train you to do these things. And the nice thing is it'll tell you down here, this video or the class is an hour long and it's an intermediate version. Um, and then it'll say the date that it was published and how many views. So it does give you, if you're a beginner, you'll know you're not, you don't want to start at the advanced tab. You'd want to start at one that is a beginner. So that's kind of nice. And when you're logged in, it'll come up over here and you can make your own playlist to be able to put different song, different videos in here. So say I wanted to do this, I click a plus and add it to your playlist. So later you can go back and watch it and actually do it. So Linda is a nice resource, especially for a little bit more advanced skills. So check it out if you are interested in something like that. So I hope that some of these resources are ones that you would be interested in checking out. They are, it's great to learn new digital skills and using these resources, and they're free, um, will help you learn some of those things. So if you have any questions, remember I'm on daily, Monday through Friday, 9 to noon um, on Zoom. You can join me through the library website. Just click on Tech Help. And Tuesdays and Thursdays, I will be creating these tutorial videos and posting them at 1 o'clock. The library does have a YouTube channel, so you can also check that out there, all of the videos that we've done to this point. I hope that you're doing well, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks.